Hey guys, good morning. Uh, it is probably, it may not be morning when you're watching this, but it's morning for me. It is Sunday, um, which means I'll be doing more chores and today is work day. Um, typically on Sundays, I um, get prepared for the work week and this week coming up is our last week for winter break. Thank goodness. So, um, I am just sitting here drinking my hot chocolate that you guys saw me make in the Keurig. And mom is making breakfast. So after I eat breakfast, I'm going to clean the bathroom. That is my chore for today because I didn't get to do it yesterday because of my headache. As you can see, I still have the same shirt on and it's because, you know, I'm not doing anything so why am I gonna put on multiple different clothes if I'm not doing anything so <laughs> if that bothers you I'm sorry but um yeah I will take you guys through today as I clean the bathroom um and then I need to prepare for the work week so I will take you guys along and show you how I plan for the week, what I do for like my math slides and like all of that good stuff. I'm basically gonna take you guys through a desk tour and show you all the things that I use frequently for virtual learning and all of that good stuff. So if that is something that you're interested in and I hope that you will continue to watch day two of Vlogmas. It's been going well. I made my Vlogmas intro last night um, and all of that good stuff. I hope that you checked out Vlogmas day one that went up on a Monday. So yeah, I'm gonna stop chatting. I'm gonna get ready to eat my breakfast, start this day and I'll check in with you guys um, when I start doing my chores. Hey guys, coming to check in. So I had the Christmas music on. I'm home by myself. My parents went out to the grocery store. I cleaned the bathroom. I showed you guys a time lapse of that. Um, I'm getting ready. The floor just finished drying, so I'm getting ready to put this stuff back in there and I started making me a salad which I'll show you. I'm waiting on my eggs to boil so let me flip the camera around. Here are my eggs boiling so once those are done I'm gonna put them into this salad that I've made. So in here I have cucumbers, tomatoes, green olives, banana peppers and then I'm gonna add lettuce once the eggs finish so that's all ready to go once the eggs are done and finished boiling and then here's the bathroom so there's liz my parents are pulling up i turned the tree on christmas music is on and then here is the bathroom Put the stuff back up there i just got to put the mats and the trash and everything back but yeah 
So I'll check back in with you guys when I'm ready for the desk tour. Yay! Hey guys, so currently watching a Hallmark movie and finishing up my salad. But once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my desk area. I'm first going to walk you through what's on my desk and what's in this area, what I use for school and stuff. And then I'm going to tell you guys what I plan for on Sundays and how I typically plan and get ready for the week before I go ahead and end the vlog for today. So go ahead and stay tuned. I'm going to show you my desk and it'll be just a second for you. A few minutes for me. <laughs> and I haven't mentioned like why I have this scarf on. I have this scarf on because my mom is going to wash my hair later on this evening. So I don't want to put the wig on and all that stuff. But if you're familiar with my channel, you've seen me with my scarf on and you're cool with it. And you're probably going to see this scarf multiple times, especially if I'm putting up a video every day between now and the 25th. So just want to give that disclaimer. If you're wondering, this is my scarf. I sleep in this scarf. Um, at night sometimes if I don't just sleep with my satin um, pillowcase but yeah okay if you hear anything in the background it's probably the TVs in the house my stepdad's watching the game and my mom is up front watching the housewives <laughs> so sorry for that I turned I put my TV on mute so that could help a little bit but um, this is my little cart I got this cart from Michaels. On this cart, I have my laminator, my pencil sharpener, my little mini fridge that it, it's not currently plugged up, but I do plan to plug it up. And then right here, I have a basket of magnetic letters and a magnetic whiteboard and an eraser. Then below, I have some drawers. In these drawers, they're not really, I haven't labeled them yet because I don't really know what I would want exactly in them. Um, when I do, I'm going to make labels, but I'm going to put Velcro on them. So if and whenever I go into my classroom, I can take this rolling cart into my classroom and I can change the labels for whatever I need in the classroom. It's probably not going to happen for a long time, but I still want it to be, you know, be able to function for whatever I need it to function for. So in this drawer currently, I just have some like word family and phonics books. And then this is like special paper. And then here, these are like all kinds of paper and labels that I would possibly use. So this is like line paper. And then I have white paper in here, some cardstock, some Avery labels that I wanted to make library labels with. And then I have more avery labels the shipping labels some laminating sheets and then i have a really big pack of laminating sheets these laminating sheets right here i will put it down in the description below if you are familiar with kim from elementary in the mitten she mentioned these in one of her videos for like the back to school time I will try my best to put it in the description or if you're somebody that's really interested in it, please leave a comment in the comment box and I will definitely give you um, that information. But they're on Amazon and it's a really good deal. So laminating sheets and things like that there for easy access to my laminator. And this here, these are just random things that I need to go through this drawer this is like a file folder folder game that i use in my classroom during stations but i brought it home to use with my kids online and then i have some books in here from some of my amazing subscribers and also some of my family members so and friends so if you're somebody who has donated to my classroom thank you so much for that I'll show you guys these. So I sent these home with my students. They are some like letter cards. I got them off of TPT and I printed them on cardstock for each kid and put them in a little baggie and told them to cut them up so that they can practice like building words and practicing their spelling at home. And then down here I have my stuff for guided reading. Um, 
These are cards from Fontes and Pinnell. They are picture cards. So I use these when we do sorts in small group. So if you're interested in how I've been doing small group online, definitely, I'm not perfect at it, but definitely let me know and I will go through that with you guys. Um, but I've been doing it for a few weeks and I've kind of got a routine. So just let me know if that's something that you want me to do. Leave a comment in the, in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this is where I put anything related to guided reading. And then down here, these are just some old notebooks that I've used that I don't need to use anymore. I've used them at the beginning of the year or over the summer. Up here, somebody's sneezing. Um, up here, it's need to be dusted off, so sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is my printer. I use HP Office Jet 5252. I guess I will just do what everybody else is doing. And if you sign up for HP Instant Ink, you automatically get like a referral code. So if somebody refers you um, or you use somebody's referral code, you will get free ink and so will I. So I will figure out how to put that in the description below as well as it'll be on Instagram in my link and bio website. So definitely check that out. I'll try to get that up there sometime this week, but I do use an HP printer. This printer was in I got it, I think, from off of Amazon, or I might have even picked it up from like Target or Walmart, and it was pretty cheap. It was only like 80 bucks, and at the time, the ink was pretty cheap. What is my dog barking for? I wonder what's going on out there. But anyway, the ink was pretty cheap, and that's why I got it. That was before I knew anything about HP Instant Ink, and then I got on that bandwagon, and it's been the best thing. I typically don't use it a lot throughout the year because I'm using the school's printer, but the pages roll over. So what happens is over the summer, I just print and print and print everything I want to print because the pages roll over. Definitely, it's it's such a good deal it's something you should definitely look into. I recommend it to anybody who asks me about a printer. Get an HP printer, get HP Instant Ink, and you never have to worry about ink again. So, good deal. I don't know why Liz is barking, y'all. I hope that y'all can't hear that that much because I don't want to have to try to film this clip over, over her barking. Like, this is real life. Okay? But anyway. <laughs> so, this it right here. I am responsible... Uh, so on my team, when we do planning, um, we plan as a team, but each person is responsible to like type up our lesson plans and put it into our team drive. So I'm responsible for math plans this year. For the first two years, I did social studies and, and science. This year, I am doing math. Um, this is my math binder. I typically on Sundays will print out the uh pacing for the upcoming week and then i will put it into this binder and so the this right here is my curriculum binder and my pacing guides this is haggerty this is what we use for our phonics i know that for phonemic awareness um it's called haggerty i need to pull it out more so you can see there you go so we use this for phonemic awareness at my school. Uh, we typically do it every day or at least every other day. I do it every other day because we have a phonics poem each week. And so I'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do Haggerty. And then Tuesday, Thursday, I do a phonics. We go through a phonics poem, like count the words in each line, find the word family of the week and stuff like that. So... Then this, we use Fontes and Pinnell. This is our first year using it. So these are the books that we frequently use if we use it. Like I showed you guys in the drawers, I love using the cards that come along with Fontes and Pinnell. So I'm hoping that um, I can get a little bit more familiar with this and start incorporating this a little bit more after Christmas break. But yeah, I have them here. Those are the main books that we use. And then here I have all of my kind of go-to files. If you're interested in seeing like everything specifically in here, I'll do that. I think this clip would be like way too long if I went through and told you what everything was. But I have um, four folders in here. Um, 
the fourth one is over by my monitor but typically there are four folders there's a clear one here and those are things that I reach for like I put important papers in them I put um, my model papers like anything that I use to model with the class that's loose like my little anchor charts that I make with the kids I'll put in there here's a whiteboard and then some other stuff so anything that i need just this like quick on hand this is like a monthly planner things like that we come here i have my crayons that i use these are the crayons that i use when i model for the students we have pens these are cards that i use on a regular basis so these are the fontes and pinnell picture cards and letter cards and number cards these are the vocabulary cards that i use with my kids in small group and when i'm in the classroom these would be word wall cards so these would just be cards that i use when we do sight words so i'm going to start putting sight word cards in there that's my little cup that says miss turner um i will put the shop that i got this from if you know this leave me a comment down below and tell me what this cup um <laughs> what this cup reminds you of what this little frame is from if you know you know okay so here is my miss turner cup i love it it's purple and sparkly i got it for myself for my birthday well my uncle sent me some money and that's what i use it for so shout out to my uncle drew here's the calendar this here i have like some dots in here that go with my tin frame so this goes with my tin frame that's under my desk that I use with the kids and then in here I have the numbers for this usually go in there um that is my bullet journal I don't really use it that much right now I will talk in another video about um what I'm doing for planning um in another vlogmas video but yeah that's my bullet journal for practice <laughs> And then over here, we have my pen collection. So these are all my fancy pens, my gel pens, my mild liners, my um, paper made flares, and all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in a pen collection video. This is not the only set of pens that I have. Um, this whole container right here is full of pins and things like that as well so if you're interested in a pin collection video definitely leave a comment down below and let me know um i also have more pins in here these are like the ones that i typically use so i love microns and then i love these like um gelosity bic pins and then i have some ink joys of course I'm trying to learn to letter and um, I've heard that this is the best print to use for that. It's a Tombow. I don't know why it's not focusing. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Um, so it's a Tombow. Mm, come on. Focus, man. A Tombow brush pin. Furunosuke pin. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, if you're interested in like a pin collection video, definitely let me know um i put mail in here that i've sorted and i need to keep in here and then in here i have receipts that i need to keep but i love the box so i kept it there these are the books that i use on a regular basis for planning um i am gonna set the camera up and like talk to you guys about that in a second but these are the books that i need to access on a daily basis i have my model book for assignments so in this book i will model things for the students so what their paper needs to look like when they send it to me um what our writing looks like um this was another assignment that we did for science so this is my model notebook for the kids and i love composition notebooks every time i try to use like anything fancy it just i always revert back to just a regular plain composition notebook so 
I always get the a composition notebook and a call in its college rule. So that's what I use for modeling assignments for the kids. Then I have my attendance and behavior. I am not going to open this book for you because it has kids names all over it but in this book i take attendance each day yes we have attendance online but i like to have things written down and documented if you are a new teacher i recommend you doing this as well having some sort of written documentation or um something like that for your records so i just put my attendance here and then i'll go back in and put it into the computer at a later date and then anything that happens on zoom so this is why it says behavior anything that happens on zoom a kid doesn't want to turn on their camera a kid is in a blanket rolled up and they're not paying attention a kid is falling asleep all the time i typically will write it down here so then if a parent is disappointed in their kids grades or disappointed in the comments that they get on like an interim report or anything like that when we have a conference about it I can go back and tell them what day that they were doing these things and give them examples of the kinds of things that they were doing on zoom so these are like my personal notes for attendance and behavior for the students this notebook here is my grade book so i'm also not going to open this and show you but so what happens here i will put the grades in the grade book but what i do in here is i have the kids names i have the week and i have the assignment that we do and then i put the grade for that for the student and then in you see this pink tab right here so back here i will just write down the assignments that we do throughout the week so since the kids will like hold up their whiteboard and show me the answer i record their answers and things like that that we do in class in this notebook in the back so that i have it when i'm going to put their grades into the grade book online i can just easily go to the assignment that and when we did it and it's all there i can see if the kid was absent that day and all that good stuff so this is my grade book this is just graph paper i will show you that so when you open this up it is like a composition notebook with just graph paper so this is what i use for my grade book this notebook here is what i use for guided reading notes so when i'm in a guided reading group with the kids I will um, take notes in here. I will also write down my plans for the day. Okay, so I covered up the names so that I could open up this and show you. So right here, I just wrote down the group name and then I wrote down the kids' names who are in this group, their reading level, the book that we're reading, th that level of the book. If there's a specific skill that I wanna work on with them, I'll write it here. If we're doing writing, this is the sentence that we will write for this book, um, the sight words that we want to practice, the sight word that I want to teach them, the word study um, skill that we want to practice. So I want to work on ending sounds with them. So we'll do a NK sort. So all, um, so all words that end with a N sound and all things that end with a K sound. And then I put down here, like after doing things with them, I can write down any notes. So I know that I need to do a sight word list for them and to work so that I can keep a record of what sight words we've practiced in group. So I just wrote that down here. And once we finish everything here, or if I hear them read or anything like that, then I'll write down notes here to figure out which, what book I need to pick the next time. So this is what I typically will use for guided reading notes. And plans and then I'll write the kids names in here I'll write if they got the sight word wrong and all, any anecdotal notes and things like that for guided reading I will put in here and then the last notebook that I want to show you for now um, is this data meetings and lesson plans so each week me and my, the first grade team will have a data meeting where we will go over um, data in reading and math 
And so this is where I will take notes from that meeting and I will also jot down lesson plan ideas. So if anything happens in those meetings then I can incorporate in the next week's plans, then I will write that here. If there's anything fun that I see on Instagram that I want to try that goes along with our standard, I will write that in here. So these, this is just lesson plan ideas and then any notes that I need from the data meeting with my team. And that is my desk area. So that's everything that I use each day. These are drawers. There's stuff in them, but I'm not going to go through all of those drawers. I have some supplies like binder clips and things like that in there. And then in, down here, these are some Fontes and Pinnell materials that we have. And then... <clears throat> That's also Fontes and Pinnell. And this is a Jan Richardson book that I use to help me with guided reading. And then this is like my electronic box <laughs> that I have at my house on a regular basis anyway. So that's just electronics and stuff. And then I have my Cricut tucked away back there. Um, So yeah, that is my little desk area. So I hope you enjoy that little desk tour. So that is a wrap. It is about eight o'clock. I'm tired. I still need to do my slides for Monday, which I will be doing later on. As you can see, Sundays, I am up pretty late. I'm up until about probably midnight. Um, and then, but I sleep in on Monday. So I get everything done that I need to get done for Monday. And then I don't really have to get out of bed until 7.30 to be ready um, for our like staff huddle that we do on Zoom at 8 a.m. every morning. So yeah, I am tired. I'm gonna call it a night because I gotta finish my slides and then I need to edit Monday's video so that it can go up for you guys for the first day of Vlogmas. Um, I hope that you enjoyed day two. If you did, give me a big thumbs up so they can reach other people out there who like watching Vlogmas videos. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely consider subscribing and enjoy and joining me and my fam on this YouTube journey. And with that being said, I enjoyed filming today. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in Vlogmas day three.